can't do the air horn. You don't have a soundboard. I know. I need to get that going. I don't know if I... I found the open soundboard thing. But I don't know. I don't see any, like, sounds in there. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what. up proud of you <laughs> i started it and i didn't know if it actually started it and then i ended it and rookies today wonder why there's no chat i'm gonna like it anyways <laughs> i gotta delete that what's up move pigeon nate john diamonds doan okay so Give me a give us a little bit. Nate's gonna start up his stream, so you're gonna be able to see. Hey, Milan, how you doing? Uh, you're gonna be able to see everything uh from Nate's perspective too. So he's gonna go live. Um, his link and Jeva's link are in the description of this stream, guys. So if you want to go uh, have two streams up, watch uh, Nate's screen too. We're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, Milan, everything's great. Everything is great. Okay, and, and then next we'll week I can have mine live. Yay! Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. We are ordered. back. Nice. Your mic sounds good now, but uh, is this one even uh, better? Pigeon 8? Yeah, it'll be much better. Nice. This one I fixed, though. I, I, the only problem with it, though, is you hear a lot of background noise from the settings I had to adjust. So gotcha. That's the only part that's annoying me. But gotcha, that, gotcha. Good. Hey, chat. How's it going? Yeah, everything's awesome. <sighs> Tiny quail. Yes, I love the tiny quail. They were, they were so cool. Once Nate, Nate, are you so you're good to go? I'm good to um, explain the rules and everything for this competition. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just I'm still sharing my stuff to all the discords. OK. All right, everybody. So what we're going to do today, another small mouth competition. Well, not another small mouth, another bass competition, small mouth this time. It's the same rules as last time. Almost best of five. Your best five fish, highest combined weight wins. But we're doing singles, no teams this time. It's me, Jebba, Nate, and Doan. Tony will join later if he can. Try to do a come from behind win. And Scarecrow is the same. He's doing early access stuff. But you know, who knows? He might get bored and hop in. Um, and then that's what we're doing. If you guys are on the Angler on PC and you want to come try to find us, come try to find us and come hang out. Um, the one thing that we're changing this time is we can fast travel so we can show off more small mouth, uh, destinations for you. So, all right. Well, I think that's good. You guys want to do, um, what do you think? So an hour would be eight 30, two hours would be nine 30. Do you want to do 10 o'clock, 10 PM? So like a two and a half hour yeah, competition 10 works, 10 works for me. All right. Jebba, that's 11 for you. Is that good? Don't, I don't know yep. what time that is for you, but it's 10 o'clock central time um okay yeah, Mike, we'll do that get your workout on you know get your workout on okay lowest weight wins we're playing yeah, golf over here <laughs> oh geez Milan. yeah we should awesome do sounds good man fish tournament one day though yeah that would be fun but all right let's do it 10 p.m central time two and a half hours small mouth bass you can fast travel ready set go i'm running i'm Ooh. running hey caitlin bum, 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 bum. i know caitlin. exactly where i'm going i already had my lures and stuff set up buff on stream because i'm learning things as i go about time about time about time all right guys we can't we can't we can't coming second to last or technically we were second <laughs> to last and second <laughs> uh move a legendary fish is like um it's like a community activity so there's like three legendary fish on every map and then it spawns in different places and people have to go find it and it's like a giant version of that fish but it's like a community activity it's not quite like a great one it's supposed to be like a group thing everybody goes and finds it kind of thing okay, yeah expected yeah. Yeah, Ashley, if you guys can if you can find our server, you guys can hop in. That's fine. 
Um, as far as the competition goes, it's going to be uh, us four that are in here. And then if Tony and Crow can hop in. Just so we can keep things legit. Legitness. I'm doing good, Deer Slayer. Just had a good day at work. Oh, bro, bro. Yeah. My internet at work, our internet went out. Oof. I was sitting there for like two hours doing nothing. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Not so apparently my boss or like my manager mm -hmm. went, had walked down to the room that has like all the servers and all the computers and like all like the like all the like technology, like the little, I don't even know what you call it whatever yeah, yeah well yeah. apparently it was filled with it people and he could hear an audible squealing coming from the room <laughs> so something oh, no. decided to just uh kill itself in that room <laughs> probably the air conditioner Ooh, that's not good yeah it was not good because it shut down the entire plant like everything everything's on the internet on that so all the managers are going to have to redo all the payrolls and everything tomorrow. Ooh, assuming that's we get it things. up by then. You ever been to a <laughs> server room? Yeah. I, I mean, a small one. Uh, father used to own a company that used to sell to people. Um, and it was like freezing cold in there. They have to, because otherwise there's... Oh, well, on, sometimes man. it's like... Ooh. Oh, wait, are we doing where it's no bronze? Bronzes don't count, right? Yeah, bronzes don't count. Yep, yep. Just silvers only. Gotta get it, boys. <laughs> hey, Pike, how you doing? John. Yeah, I should uh, be better about that uh, Jeremy Wade fish on thing. Fish on. <laughs> Johnny. Fish on. Johnny and his lake trout. Oh, all I have to do is bring up rabbit. <laughs> we did a lake trout competition uh, for international waters last week. And uh, yeah, I. Albino. <laughs> is this an albino? Um, albino. Yeah, I absolutely destroyed them. <laughs> in that it was um not even fair though. Well, yeah. Um it wasn't. No. I had a lot more lake trout experience than they did in um Kinsko was very confident in his lake trout choice. Very confident in his lake trout. Just like, let's do lake trout. I'm I'm good lake trout. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Let's do, let's do lake trout then. Nah, nah. All right. Oh, that's yeah, I think why he I was said he fished them when they were different or something. At start. Something like that. Yeah, like they. Yeah. He was in a good spot for him. Um, just not at the honey hole. Oh, hey, the Jeremy. Rod. I cheated. I didn't cheat. I uh, was not there. I was not there when they were setting everything up. And I'm getting lots of pike right now. Pike. Unless this is a bass. Oh, I think this might be a bass. Can you guys ban pikes in the chat, please? <laughs> Ugh, it's a largey, but works. Good, Jeremy. We're good. Yeah, I, yeah. I've been fishing a ton. Deer Slayer. I've actually taken fifth, eleventh, and seventh in my last tournaments. Hey, Zevin, how are you? And in my club up here, out of thirty, I'm sitting in fourth overall. Nice, Johnny. That's awesome, Nate. Yeah. It's been nice. It's my third year being a boater in that club, and. The last two years, I've absolutely shat the bed. 
Well, at least you're uh, doing good. Yeah. Hello, Buck. It's Clay. Mm -hmm. If uh, Kensco does come visit uh, me and B. Jones in Kansas City, you should bring the boat down. Ooh, maybe. We could, we could fish the Ozarks. True, I could. Have you ever been to like, the Ozarks? I've been wanting to. I have family that lives in Columbia. Oh, yeah. Down there. Oh, yeah, dude. Lake of the Ozarks. It's the Riviera of the Midwest. Hmm. Nice. I heard, yeah. I know people have fished it. I just haven't had the chance to. Oh yeah, come on, come on, that's another pike. Hey, Zevin. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Good, good, good. What's up, Ronald Reagan? So hey, Micah. What's up, Ronald Reagan? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, Micah, Angler's not on Xbox yet, but there will be a console release, I believe, in the next month or so. Uh, we don't have an exact date. It's gonna be this summer. But I, I feel like it's going to be July. I feel like it's going to release on um, console in July. Um, just my feeling. Ike, thank you for the five gifted Pike. Let's get those legendary Pikes in the chat, everybody. Hello, thank you, buddy. Pike. He sees like three. <laughs> he sees like three non-members and he pounces. Um... Not but gonna uh starting at night's gonna we're gonna this is gonna be a struggle bus yeah i think i think it's gonna come uh i <laughs> think it's to gonna the wire yeah come down to the wire if you don't have your gifted on go ahead and click the little gift icon in chat and turn on the accepted gifted is that a gifted uh i'm talking to nate and jebba and um uh, nice oh, wow. Ola Miyamo Big Rig. Mandu, congratulations on getting that gifted. Well, this is, seems like a decent sized fish here. Oh, you son of a gun. Ho oh, ho, gold, nice, baby. Dude. Let's flip and go. Mm. Right, mm -mm. Shout out to Wedge. That's all I'm going to say. Shout out to Wedge. Good way to start. Nice. I did. I got to be Jones. Got the screenshot. All right, though, and that means we're going to have to get a diamond now. I did see Tony got a diamond jackal. I was talking to Kinsko when I saw it, and we were both like, are you flipping kidding me? Tony's on a heater, bro. Uh, Micah, do you know how to cheer gifted on? Ronald Reagan, we're doing a best five for smallmouth. So like the best five combined weight. And it's going to be me versus Bro Bro versus Jebba and Doan. And also Tony, if he gets in here, whoever decides to get in. Cut them clean off, John, or just like, what are we talking? You, you have eight fingers now? Like how, how off are those fingers? Wait, who's cutting off fingers? John lost two fingers. He's uh, building cribs for his triplets. Ooh, that stinks, dude. How come we didn't get him put them back on? They do that these days. <laughs> I don't know how. Did my music stop again? What's going on here? <laughs> Seriously, oh no. <laughs> um. Just um, heads up, uh, I have it on good authority from uh, some angler official discord regulars that um, twitching is pretty much the only thing that works for poppers. And I know that's what we always do, but um, they said pretty much everything else just doesn't really work. I kind of assume that. I mean, it's gonna be fishing in real life too. There we go. No small mouth. Nice, nice. Okay, that's good, John. They should uh, be able to put those back on if you put them on ice. This is a big smallie. 
<laughs> Deer Slayer. If this is a small, this there's no way this is a smallie. Ah, uh, it's a big, large mouth. <laughs> Cut a land. Yeah, we can. Line. Yeah, we can do a land eight party. Pounder. B Jones. Eight, almost eight pounds. Is it a what? Dang it, dude! Why was that fast last tournament? Right? <laughs> would have. We would have won if you got that. Yeah. Oh, oh that stinks. Hey, Eli, it's going good, buddy. I got a gold uh, small mouth already. B what Jones. Last tournament too, though. I caught two gold small mouths also. Yeah, I know. I already tried that spot. Smallmouth are not coming out to play yet. The oh, B Jones. Steph can finally make me those uh, Sour Patch Kid cookies. That would be sick. Sour Patch, Sour Patch cookies? Yeah, dude. I bought... Um, I was over at B Jones' house for one of the Chiefs games, and I brought Sour Patch Kids. And they had a recipe for cookies with Sour Patch Kids in them. She will. If I am actually nice to her for once and not like make fun of her all the time, I think she probably will make them for me. It was like an interesting like combination. Right. Yeah, it sounds terrible. And that's why I want to try it. I mean, I also oh, want to try yeah, lobster and vanilla ice cream. That's that never. No, nope. no. Nope. Nope. You guys are literally the worst. Can we get throw up faces in chat, please? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, bro, Brover's chat. If, if you if you don't didn't like that, I'm always over here. <laughs> <laughs> Nate eats the good stuff. Yeah, I I keep my ice cream lobster free. I don't condone it. <laughs> Facebooks are different. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to like it. Guys, I, I, you're listen. Not. Dude, you're going to instantly throw up. Like, listen, I'm not saying I'm going to like this so stuff. I'm just saying pounded. I'm there not a go. coward. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's a, out of all things, <laughs> you're not a coward. You're going to eat vanilla ice cream with a lot of <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this another big large? Lar Is this not? What's up with all the largies? I don't know well, we're doing a smallmouth competition now, so. I know. Yeah. Hey, Brayden. I still haven't even moved my boat. Yeah. No, no, no. Lobster's good. It's if it, it's with ice cream, Deer Slayer. That's. You disgusting. don't even know. You don't even know that though, because you won't try it, because you're a dingling. You're not no. even a ding dong. No, no, no. You're worse than no, a ding no, no. dong. You're a ding a ling. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. You two and two together. That's not gonna taste good. Let's go. Two point eight five. Mm. There's just some things not worth trying. I don't think. Where is your sense of adventure, man? Where? When are you gonna start living on the edge, Nate? Huh? When are you gonna push those boundaries? Caitlin, you try it. Oh, no. Caitlin's lost it, guys. Somebody go help her. She, 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 she is she help. back? Is she on my side? Is she back? Is she, she back? Said she, she said she'd try it. It's she's back. Like, she's back, everyone. It's probably it was, that was all, ice cream or something. That was a log right there. A log just floated up to the surface right in front of me. A poop log? I think it might be a giant pike. Like a giant pike. Yeah, I saw one too. Trying to ignore him. <laughs> Trying to ignore him. Oh. Ooh, fries and frosty. Yeah, it is like fries and a frosty. Yeah, B Jones makes a fair point. You're assuming I can read. On a good day, maybe. So you think they use lemon flavored ice cream or something for the lobster? Mm. I don't know. That looks like a small mouth. Could be a largey. I am struggling. Struggle busting. Ah. Dagum. Oh, not exit the main menu. That would have been a mistake.
Lemon might yeah, lemon might be nice. Lemon might be nice. So um Jeb and Nate, what are you guys going for first on uh Australia when it releases? Uh I'm just gonna go around and bro it. I'm so I'm proud of you. I'm just gonna go shoot stuff. <laughs> right. That's typically how I do it. Wherever I spawn, I kinda explore around those areas. Yeah. I would yeah, like yeah, to yeah. try to get to the um the river I guess wetland areas. <clears throat> yeah, but we should we should explore my map together. We should do like a exploring exploring uh Australia. True. I definitely want to do a walkabout with a longbow. It's like the only weapon I'll have. <laughs> Try not to get killed. I'm uh yeah I'm definitely gonna walk around first and then. Um, hey, hey, Brennan. Um, walk around first, and then I know exactly what I'm doing. Jacksy, Jacksy challenged me today, not not like directly, but indirectly. So this is the last time you'll see an albino quail. Is it? Is it? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, dear Slayer. It, I, it's it's a good song for a copyright free. You can't go wrong. Netflix. Okay, Pike. Yeah, it's, it's Thick Shots. It's one of their uh, rap hip-hop mm. songs. Put that in the comment, Pike, so I know, so I remember that. They just don't, like, you can't compare to Netflix. All the other ones are so bad. There's a couple ones that are decent, but... Yeah, there's a few that I like, but um, most of my library for my videos are Netflix. Yeah. They do have clean versions too, if you ever need those for videos or something. Yeah, I'm totally not rocking the clean versions right now, but that's alright. Good, John. Good, good, good. I got a gold smallmouth already, Beach Trooper. Struggle bussing. Struggle bus. Nate is on the struggle bus, and that's okay. It's okay. That's okay. We love you anyway. Nate. Worst troll ever had. Maybe that jackal, man. Oh, that jackal that's might bad. have been the worst troll. How do you make a jackal, so like a level nine jackal, so rare, and then make it, make it so control? Jan, Jan literally came into my stream and said, hi, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jan's a flipping best, man. I'll tell you that Jan's a hoot and a half. Hoot and a hoot nanny. I don't know. Nice, John. That's what it, that's the way to go about it. I, I can't believe they didn't put those. They didn't get those reattached though. You just put those on ice. The doctors they whip those right back on, man. She redeemed herself. She said hi, Giga. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Have you have you heard that lore, Rubra? It was more rare, B Jones. Uh, no, I have not heard that lore. Uh. She says I have a Giga in my pants. That's that's a Jan. That's a Jan. Jan lore for you. You know, you know, Jan is being sarcastic, right? No, no, no. She, she's she's. You know what? Flattery. You know, I'll take it. It's not really flattery though, Nate. What she's trying to say is you have a one gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> it's just a giga. If it was. Which is no. enough. It's fine. That's a good amount. A terabyte it or. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, hi Jan. Nice Johnny. A troll Let's level nine go. jackal is more rare than everything I got off your map, B Jones. Jan, Cold she had no idea mouth. she was muted. <laughs> you seen this fish, guys? I can't believe you got a gold smallmouth. Who did? No, before oh. you. I just got one. You did? Nice. Four pounder. 
Nice, nice, nice. I got competition. I'm doing, I'm doing this wrong, clearly. You want some uh, pointers? No. Do you, have you ever fished for smallmouth bass, Nate? Yes, in real life? I have. Oh, a ton. Oh, have you? Yeah. Hmm. I can share my secret. Yeah. Ah. You just have to go to the, the river and find out. Maybe, John, maybe. Cast in the water. See what happens. I can't believe you. Can't, can't believe you. I can't believe you just pulled that on me. <laughs> oh, okay. the water and find out, man. Okay, Casey. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Um. <laughs> um. I think it's like um another week, Peach Trooper. Depends on whatever you got it, but it's like a uh, the first round of memberships. Will probably be like another week or so, like around time, the time the uh, new map drops. Uh, that reminds me, I gotta get going on the two month badges. Oh, yeah, you only have the one badge right now, right? Yeah. Decent sized fish here. Dude, the big largemouth came up to play tonight. Oh my gosh. Right. Five pounders looking right now. Uh, yeah, we'll stream tomorrow, Jeremy. Tomorrow is going to be called wild. What do you mean? Wild. What are you going to be hunting? Um, Good, sir. I can take a guess. I bet small game. Hey, man, small game hunting is fun. <laughs> Caitlin, I talked to her about a little something something. Um, so we will see. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but yeah, probably small game. Should look for a pheasant. Oh man, I do need some pheasants. I will. Yeah, I mean, Paul, I'm, I got to finish the toe bean room too. I mean, come on. The toe bean room. I saw those. I was like, I'm just doing a whole room of these. Eventually, I'll replace them with like the rare ones. Like I've got the albino and I've got a diamond raccoon now. So like I'm good. Um, and I'll try. Uh, I'll try uh, for other things and I can just I'm sorry. I totally forgot what I was doing. because I forgot what I was about to do in an angler. I'm going to replace the bad raccoons with the good raccoons when I get more diamonds and stuff. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Australia trophies. Large mouth <laughs> are irritating yeah. me. Yep, they're coming out everywhere. Ibex? Ooh, I don't know, Brennan. Lots of large mouth. Did you get to watch the melanistic pheasant video I sent you, Robo? I did not get a chance, no. I saw that thing flying like a mile away. It was so colorful. I can't miss it. <sighs> I had to go find its track. But then I stalked it for like a couple hours. Couldn't figure out where it went. And then out of nowhere, it just flew right to me and I shot it. It fell at my feet. <laughs> oh, man. I was so hyped. Was that on your own map? Yes. Nice. Albino Banting. Yeah, I was on Quattro Cleanus. I never hunted it when they added the pheasants. I didn't even know they had pheasants there, to be honest. I have no idea, John. Yeah, I gotta check my map for pheasants better. Let's see what I got there. Legendary Fetch that's why I'm into hiding. I use the same pick as bro bro. What are you talking about, Chan? This is not the same thumbnail that he was using. <laughs> and I've got a new thumbnail too. Yeah. 
And to be fair, technically it, it was mine to begin with, so. True. Yeah. Hey, Kaylee. But I'm never gonna use a thumbnail that Brobra has used, because that would be stupid when I can just make another one. Yeah, Nate's made a lot of my thumbnails. Like Nate and CJO made the most of them. Um, they showed him off move on the stream today. The albino bantang. Sounds good, Jeremy. Jeremy Wade. Imagine, imagine using other people's thumbnails. Yeah, imagine. Imagine being that person. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> Uh, I don't like it getting dark. Right. I think I even turned my flashlight off. Decent small mount. What? Yeah, you got a flashlight. On? How do you turn that off? Doesn't it just automatically turn on? I think so. Mine's on. I think you can turn it off in settings. I feel like I turned it off last time. I wish I could gamma up in this game. Right. Gamma up. Say arc, man. Right as you said that, it got a little bit lighter out. I, it, right, I, I just saw it, that. Yeah. Same. It did that in my game. Like you blink, the gamma changes. <laughs> Speaking of which, bro, bro, did you watch Nate's short of him trying to fly in a tech suit? I did. I did actually see that one. And uh, he like, it was funny because you like land in the water and you thought like, oh, you were done for. And Caitlin was just like, Caitlin's like, just, just fly <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you feel like in the water, it's just like the passive fish and there's another yeah. swimming by peacefully. And he's like, oh, we have a problem. <laughs> like, have a problem. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> nah, nah. You'd be fine. Uh, you get stuck in that animation where you have to take your pants off to get out of it at least on controller you do i don't know on keyboard but i've never had that happen to me yeah you like can't stop can't stop won't stop all these big bass so salties are class seven is that right yep so you can take them to 300. Yep. I'm absolutely funny doing that. watching Jack's getting uh, eaten by one. That was entertaining. I'm absolutely, uh, absolutely using the 300 on those crocs for sure. And, uh, did he say, I can't remember exactly. Did he say that they are not going to sink anymore? Correct. I'm so glad that makes me actually want to hunt them. Does that mean they're fixing the alligators as well? Yes. So. Yep. Because they said they were both going to get reworked. So I can't imagine like, oh, yeah, alligators are still going to suck to hunt. But crocs will be fun. I can't see them doing that, but who knows? They I said didn't that. Really I get to see the crocs up close as far as a snout, but um, I couldn't tell if they had a narrower snout or not. It was. It was a little bit narrower. It was still a little bit more round than. I was expecting for a salty, but um, like it was a little bit wider than I was expecting for a salty. Like wider, um, short, maybe. Yeah, but it definitely was more angular than the than the gators. Hmm. Yeah, Kaylee, I I was pretty convinced I lost that one gator the other night. I was bummed. I am definitely shooting one with a longbow. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a legendary to go aggressive on me. A little catfish there. Little kitty cat. Meow. Did somebody clip that? What? Can we clip? Can we? Do we have someone clipping that? I don't know. I feel like we need somebody clipping that. Kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> um, because I'm gonna use that in streams all the time. Let's get this soundboard going. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like CJO would get a lot of use out of that. Oh god. I better get royalties on that. Hmm. <laughs> mm, so the, the video I uploaded today, uh, Caitlin said that the Sika deer looked like it was doing the uwu pose. 
So I was like, I have to like clip that now and then take the CGO's uwu and put it together. Oh, that's incredible. Whoa, who's this guy? Where'd this guy come from? Catching anything over here, Nate? I just got here. Oh. Is this for you, Ben? I didn't I even... I was on the other side and then Doan came over there, so I came over here and then oh. <laughs> I'm running into you. <laughs> I didn't even see you. It's so dark. Right. I just saw the letters pop up. <laughs> he's showing. Did he show off albino crocodiles? No. Well, I don't know. I think I missed the croc part. No. Or are you I just seeing a real life, it. Kaylee? I mean, I saw some of the croc parts, but I didn't see him spawn anything in. If that's what he did. I don't know. Kaylee said albino crocodiles have black spots on their back, but I'm not sure if she's saying like in real life or in the game, because that would be kind of cool to see in the game too. Yeah, that'd be sick. I just hey, need more G -Games. Plaques, man. I have like no room in my lodge for bigger stuff. Either of my lodges. I've got plenty of stuff that I can take down in mine. Okay, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Be two, three minutes, maybe 55. Who knows? No, I'm just kidding. I'll be right back, guys. You guys can play the word game while I'm gone if you want. The word game. Catching plenty of large mouths there, Jebo. Yep, yep, yep. Get ready to move. I haven't seen a single fish. Vibing to my music right now. Nice. Have you made a stream schedule yet? No. Rip. I think it's just gonna be like I stream when I want. I don't know. For now. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. I. I not gonna lie like today i'm kind of tired just from work but like it's been really fun just streaming and just kind of chilling and ha having people pop in and out it's like you're winding you're winding down from the day you know yeah you can hang out with the homies yep the and then homies. you could just and you're not stuck with them at your house so you just be like you know what guys i'm i'm gonna call it see you guys bye and go to bed <laughs> yeah <laughs> a little bit different you know true it's on. Another pike. Okay. Silver. I thought it's another large mouth. Yeah, small large mouth. It's brutal. I don't know what I got. Seems decent. We're back. Where are you? We'll see. Maybe. And large bump. Bum, bum. Yeah, so night fishing's not super easy, huh? Mm, no. Cause I've definitely gone to spots where I've caught smallmouth before, and nada, not a lot of, not a lot of, I can't recall if I've ever caught largemouth off top water at night before. I've always had to switch to like, you know, lizards or uh, you know, bottom baits. In real life, you mean? Yeah. Nah, I've caught some at dark night. With top water? Yeah. 
Like it was like a frog or something? Uh, I think it was on a, like a walking bait. Hmm. Let's try this. But then again, down here you don't go out at night. You get eaten by gators. <laughs> yeah. True. We're out there. Actually, uh, during their mating season. <laughs> Not the best time to go out and play on the lake. Play patty cake with some alligators. Even during the day, <laughs> I've been chased off of the weed mats while flipping in my tournaments um, from gators. Yeah. That sounds horrifying. He fished some around. Speaking of which, the guy I used to fish the BFL with, he um, he's working with my company now part time again. Oh really? Um, he used to own it, and he might be doing some fishing again. Nice. Awesome. I should be doing these challenges too. Chat back. Hey, hey, Death Reaper. Which means, Nate, I might need to borrow some equipment. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Now that you got all these sponsors and all, I'm getting a good round trail? Yeah, they're being extremely tough, Ronald Reagan. Let's go 2.58. I don't. I, I, I think they're just not good night, night bite. Not good night bites. Bow, bow, bow. Not good night bites. Definitely sound like a song or some type of a uh, snack. Yeah, a shareable. Have you guys tried the good night bites? <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a <laughs> that sounds like a drug. <laughs> Nate, is your music copywritten? True. No. All my music is found from uh. Free library. That you, that you, that for your library. Why? I was just wondering. Uh, Deer Slayer said I, I need to take notes. Dude. Mirror music. <laughs> this is like rock, like hard rock, because I do chill stuff on the Call of the Wild. Nah, my, mine's like half and half rock and like hip hop rap. Gotcha. Oh, there goes a pike. But Steven. has a little bit of cursing, so. Appreciate the uh, subscription. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't really do words in mind just because I don't vet them enough to know like what they're talking about. Fish, but I'll take it. Dang, Eli. So do you think Oops. we're gonna get a Japanese map for fishing? For fishing? Yeah. I don't know about fishing. Not much in Japan. Catch a lot of koi. <laughs> I'm sure CJ would be thrilled. Um, hey, there's actually a few lakes that have uh, largemouth bass in uh, Japan. Really? Were they like mm -hmm. stocked? Oh wow. Um, I, th I think I actually don't know. I remember watching a video on it. Pretty cool. I think I we're in. Fishing. I think we're going to Japan hunting map, not a fishing map. I think like next summer will be a Japan hunting map, maybe. We think I think that's the, what Japanese, be the next one. Japanese landscape is beautiful in general, so I'd be happy with either yeah. one. I Same. feel like they have to have some type of fish other than koi, you know? Probably do. They probably have probably some trout. They probably have like ocean fish since they're like surrounded by the ocean. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, they'd have to, right? Because of sushi, right? It'd be cool to have like a Japanese like fish market kind of on the map. And you pull it'd be kind of cool. They, they could do like some cool like uh, landscape and stuff with that. But it's not technically catch and release then. What are you talking about? Just for looks in general? Just looks. Gotcha. This um, this rainbow trout's teasing me over here. 
a decent sized trout. fish are kicking my arse hmm. real quick let's um let's take a uh brief break and uh let's see what we can get let's see if we can get this big old trout on this spinner He's just, he's taunting me. He's taunting me. It's probably a pike. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't even want to bring this one in. Let's cut my line. This is a decent sized trout here. What do we got? Silver rainbow. Not bad. All right. All right. We're back. We're, we're back. <laughs> ADHD at its finest. Yeah, no, we just, uh, well, he's right there. He's just looking at me. <laughs> just look, just staring into my soul. The trout were taunting you whenever you were going for your legendary. Yeah. Where did you end up catching yours, Caitlin? Was it completely away from where we said it was? Dang, Deer Slayer, that sucks. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I thought you ended up getting it. Ooh. I still haven't caught the legendary catfish. Or the trout. I have not either. I think the catfish is the only one I haven't caught. That was the easiest one. It was like a five second battle. Really? It's not that big? Tiny. No, I'm just kidding. That's the burbot. <laughs> oh, that the was the a battle. It's like reeling in a giant log. A big old log. Yeah, the burbot one was unreal. How fast it you know was. I thought it was gonna be a pain at first. <laughs> John, John, thank you for the super chat. Uh, sunrise couldn't come any faster. I know, man. I know. It's uh, slowing down. That's why I switch over to a crankbait because they will bite on cranks. Hey, Salatino, how you doing, buddy? Kind of just banking on the daylight bite to rack them right. up. Well, we got we got plenty of time. We still have like a over an hour, hour and forty five minutes. Yep. Johnny, Johnny Turn with the mix uh... flags. Turn up your contrast if you use Alt F4. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really bought that for a second, like you're going to tell us something good. I really I did. did. But then I realized it was Jebba saying it. <laughs> <laughs> and Doan, Doan leaves a reserve. No, yeah. <laughs> Disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? We're going to go to. This is what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go while it's nighttime. We're going to go for the Hail Mary. We're going for the absolute Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Harry, Harry, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Harry, Mary. Ooh, nice, Micah. Are you going to marry Harry, Mary? Well, you know it. Is Mrs. Is Mrs. Brobra named Mary? No. Oh. Actually, I think I know her name. I just can't comprehend anything right now. It's all fishing for you. All yeah. fishing all the time. All right. Yep. Going for a small fish. What is that? It's so tiny. Guys, does that moon look albino? <laughs> Mine's one in the clouds. Your Slayer, how did you go to 69 to 71 diamonds? Can you, are you sure you did your math right? Hey, Golden Game. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rig caught one. Let's go. Nice, Golden. That's awesome, dude. 
appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Uh, Golden, if you turn your gifted uh, memberships on, we have, I think we've got a few more gifted memberships that are floating out there. Yeah. Be able to get one. Oh, nice, Deer Slayer. Was that, was that Monster Cat that was asking me if, uh, about if I wanted to come check out the, uh, diamond, uh, salmon spot? Or was that you, Golden? Because I definitely want to check that out because I do not have a diamond Atlantic salmon. Yeah, I'm surprised one of us in the group hasn't gotten that yet. What's that? Diamond salmon. True. I mean, we don't really fish for it, though. <laughs> don't don't remind me don't remind me i did lose one that was monster cat okay i'll try to find monster cat again sometime and and see if you can show me where that is uh because i have that's better not a lot of good fish here i have a diamond mountain whitefish in this reserve i've just not had a whole lot of luck with anything really uh I norway yet or not Xander, um, uh, shoot, uh, what's the, oh my gosh, I can't think. Sauger? Sauger, yeah. I haven't caught one. that or a bluegill yet on this map. Hmm. Oh yeah, gold. I know Monster Cat's, Monster Cat's a legend, man. I wonder how far down I should have, uh, this thing floating. I've been down two feet. Fish on. Tiny fish on. I'm float fishing right now. I got eggs on. So eggs are apparently what they're attracted to the most. So while we're at nighttime, I got a big hook. Got eggs. We'll see what we get. Gotcha, Johnny. Gotcha. Um. If you are you on a uh, mobile or are you on your like PC golden? Oh, nice, Kaylee. I still have not tamed a Carco or the new bug, but I think I'm going to wait. I don't know. I'm going to wait till the arc. Like the arc fever hits me again. It hasn't hit me. It will. It just hasn't hit me yet on your phone. So golden go to um go to youtube through like your internet browser app don't use the youtube app just the internet browser app go there then um go to like the my you know excuse me my stream and then click like around like the membership like the like the super chat gifted membership stuff around the bottom click that and it should be around there somewhere an option to turn on gifteds or like the join or Maybe it's the join button or something. Maybe there's some kind of option there. Um, I know you can also Google it too, and it might come up. Okay, let's um try some. Let's try over here, maybe. Sean, I don't believe you. Pike. Hey, Chip, how you doing, buddy? That's a bass. Is the bug really hard to tame? Chip, have you tamed the new bug? It's actually pretty easy. Oh, nice, Golden. It's like tame. It's like kind of like similar to a Reaper, but the difference is you have to get pheromone from a male, and then uh -huh. you. Um, you have to find a female, and once you find a female, you basically burn it down to ten percent. Feed your rex the pheromone, and then it'll just start attacking the rex, and you just stand there and watch it impregnate it. That's it. Oh. And then you have to feed it certain types of food or kibble that it wants. It like it's very demanding. Gotcha. Um, if you don't feed it the stuff that they want, then you don't get the levels. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, Kaylee, you're playing. You're playing on the console. There's no. There's no mods there. Of course, it's hard. Not too bad, Chip. Okay, okay. Are they uh, actually the Sky Gigas, or are they not quite as uh, aggressive? 
I wouldn't say they're aggressive, but they're more like a super powered Giga Titan mixed with a Quetzal because you can carry Rexes and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Um, so they do have their, um, they are very useful, especially probably in PvP. They're pretty fast. Try over think, here. I think Chip got a 150, I think is what he said. Yeah, yeah. But they give Ooh. an example of things they asked for. Um, my last two were asking for those golden eggs from those um, little ducks that swim around. Oh, yeah, Which yeah. Like, you have to wait for them to eat like five fish before they'll drop a golden egg, and it's like a low chance. <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah. Yeah, that's tough. My rarest trophy in Call of the Wild is probably my Mellow Bobcat. My gold Mellow Bobcat, I, w I would say. Dang it, it looked like it was getting brighter and it went dark again. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Crow's doing his early access stuff, Golden, so... Um, he may stop by later? Not really sure. It just depends on if he can get stuff filmed. If I was Crow? I wouldn't stop by later. <laughs> yeah, I would be on early access. I'd be that access up. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. I would be just going ham on the uh, early access. And you're not really allowed to really talk about it, so you're being around your friends after it's going to be all right. you want to do, right? Right, yeah. Especially on stream, too. Yeah. Hard, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Huh? Is it getting morning? Oops, morning. it's getting morning time. Ooh. Another nice trout down there. I've not caught a bass on the worm. But I wanted to try something different. Just to see. Has not been successful. Nice chip. Yeah, gold, it's pretty fun. That's why I like um that's why I like the dedicated servers on um the angler, Golden. Because you can just play with anybody and have fun. It's nice. Ooh, nice, Kaylee. We'll crash every two seconds. Exactly. Servers are more stable. A lot of fun. I'm like so focused, like I can't. <laughs> I try to catch some fish. You guys are showing me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? We would never. We would never. Didn't you say you wanted to be in last or something like that? That's yeah. Not... I guess. I guess. I guess I do. I guess. Yeah. Well, You're going back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Wicked Witch of the West. Going back to these poppers. See what we can get. I might switch locations here. There you go, Golden. Thank you again, Pike. Appreciate that. Congratulations on getting that gifted membership there, Golden. Enjoy the badge next to your name and the perks and emotes that come with it. If your uh, YouTube account is linked up with your uh, Discord account, you can get that uh, membership level in the Discord as well. In the connections that come there yeah I'm Kaylee I would that's why I like playing on PC Kaylee because you can um goodness gracious okay because you have the um mods and everything so I can like get a spyglass 
that shows me torpor. I wonder how these official servers are on console. I wonder if they're completely dead like PC. Say that again, Jebba. I was uh, saying I wonder how the official servers are on console. If it's the same like PC. Where they're pretty dead now. I'm not sure. Because they said they announced that they're just going to like wipe everything, right? Like, all right, servers yeah. are going to die. Good luck. See you later. Pretty much. Can't even get the save. Which is crazy because there's people that have dedicated pretty much their lives like five years worth, you know? Right. And they've collected a lot of stuff over those years. They need to fix this whole like dark light, dark light, dark light thing going on. How's the sunset look for you? I mean, like the sunrise? Of grays. Sunset, sunrise, yeah. For Nate, in general. Um, no. I'm getting some oranges. Speaking of. That's a good one. Okay. PTK, come on now. <laughs> I'm trying my best. What's the? Oh no, no, Mike. I didn't get early access. I'm not in the official uh, program yet, Micah. I have my um, application in, so we're just waiting on them to get to that. And then once they get that and review that, we'll uh, hopefully be able to get in and get into the uh, EW content creator program. And then um, once we hit a certain milestone, I, I don't know if it's just subscribers, then we'll get into the um, partnered content creator program, which is what like pro and um, lady and Kinsko all are. And that has the um, that comes with early access. The affiliates, uh, I don't think they have like the at level content creators i don't think they have early access yet hey ttk have a good shift at work i don't know if they will get early access at all it's nice seeing kids go back to incontinent again yeah we uh Hopefully. did another uh video with him today nice we did um he wanted to know some xander spots so we got him he came along with my Xander hotspot video. Golden game was uh, a part of that. Golden game caught a diamond. Uh, what was it? Was it diamond eyed? Is that what it was? Jeez. In the middle of uh, me filming the last part of it. <laughs> so it was pretty wow. funny. But. Uh, How's Ken's go liking the angler now? He likes it. Yeah, he likes the angler a lot. Um. He's done another stream of like just on his own of the angler. He's just getting back into it. You know, he liked it when it first came out, but he's getting back into it now and relearning all the new stuff. Nice. Uh, Paul, this is one of the DLC rods, so it's um, I'll have to show you, but it's one of the free DLC rods. Let me get in here real quick. That's all I wanted. It's the Gilgamesh. I like it quite a bit. All right, boys. You think we're going to get some uh, better bites here? Now that it suns up. Oops. So uh, I got to upgrade some fish here. Dang, you like. Yep. It's a free one, Paul. Yep. Come on. Come on. Do we remember if um what they said on stream about how the fish work like if you go out of render and then go back into render is it a new fish population or is it you leave the server and come back uh, i don't know um, i know for sure the server works i don't know about the render. The, yeah i'm not sure either i feel like that i feel like it was if you left render yeah I mean, I'm kind of testing that right now. I went back to where I started. Okay, let me know what you find out on that. 
Uh, yeah, I thought it was I. 4.33 kgs, nice. That's awesome. I don't think I have a diamond eyed. I don't get a lot of eyed. I just don't fish their lakes very often. I like, um, I like Xander fishing, perch fishing. Pikes all the big pike over there are always fun. It's hard to beat getting a giant pike on over on Norway. The fight that they put up is just super fun. Yeah. I like right. those. Oh, actually, I don't. Man, I wish I could. I might have to open my window or something. Nope, Connor. We. Oh. That bad, eh? No, my freaking uh, air conditioning unit's right next to my head, so I can't have it there or the stream's gonna hear it. Here it wasn't all those tacos, man. Hey, Ooh, no silver pike. Had some chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> no, Connor, it was nighttime, so um, bass will still bite at night, but not quite like um, not quite like during the day. Um, yeah, Golden, it's uh, Kinsko figured that out the other day. It's in um, your settings. Oh, uh, I can't remember after that, but Kinsko figured it out the other day. It's in there. I don't apparently I have caught a yellow perch, but I don't remember ever catching a yellow perch on this map. Um, if anybody is in the uh, angler official discord and you uh, read a Gaz's updates, has he mentioned what species of fish are going to be backfilled onto Golden Ridge? I don't think he said I don't I didn't see it in any of his messages, but I might have missed one. I'm hoping it's crappie for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Dude, I didn't... you could make some big crappie. I hope that they make them big. Like them big. I like them big. chunky. I don't even know. You like a mixture of white crappie and black crappie? Yeah. Sure. I don't even know. Um, What other than crappie? What did we say? They could potentially do since walleye are like Sagar and walleye are so similar. Um, what did we say? Crappie. Crappie. Crappies, yeah, definitely crappie. Um, what about like cane pickerels or something like that? Nah, not up here. They got pike. I guess it might be a little bit out of the norm, but they could do, um, you could probably Snake do. Heads. Nah, not up there. Ah, uh, actually, bowfin. They're kind of like snakeheads. They could probably they have, like, massive ones up that way. Or something. They are, but it's like they're like not snakeheads. They're like different. Yeah. Well, they have a lot of different species of snakeheads. So. Yeah. They could probably. My buddy caught a huge one this past weekend. Nice. They put up a good fight. Yeah, we thought it was a bass because it was kind of it's green. So when it came up, I thought it was a big bass, and I was like, ah, oh. it wasn't. They are, they are crazy aggressive down here, and the schools are like, you see, you see like a swarm of like thousands of fish. Yeah. Wild. It'd be really out there. And I don't know if it'd be actually correct, but they could do sturgeon. They could. Yeah, sure. And that would be like, can you imagine going like river fishing for the sturgeon. That would be sick in this map for sure. I don't know. If, I don't think they get very big in the Rockies, though. Do they? No, not the big ones are all up in like Washington, Oregon, BC. Yeah, like Michigan. Yeah, I've had halibut. It's pretty good, Mike. I, I like it. Coffee's your favorite? Big in Wisconsin. Just not in the. Ah. They get big up here, just not like the ones up there, though. The ones up there are just stupid big. The stir yeah. Every time I see a sturgeon reel on Instagram, I want to send it to you, but I think I've sent you like all of them so far. And yeah, it's the white sturgeon that are huge. 
Oh my gosh, you're crazy. That could be cool though. A giant, like just an enormous fish. It'd be like, um, would that be the biggest? That would probably be the biggest non legendary fish in the game, wouldn't it? Probably. Yeah. If it's the white surgeon. If they add kayaks in the game. And sturgeon. <laughs> yeah. Chip's back. <laughs> Chip's back. He's putting a pause on Ark. Maybe just for one night, but he'd be back. Like, like Ark who? Imagine just like Chip going up a river, Sturgeon just literally taking him. You just like turn, like open your map and you see his little icon just like racing up the river and you're like, oh, this dude's probably speed hacking or something. Right. Nah, yeah. Chip's just, right. Chip's just on a kayak hooked up to a massive Sturgeon taking him up the river. Or zooming by you on the boat while you're fishing. Yeah. <laughs> about him. Yeah. I know, Paul. It's coming, dude. It's coming. I think within the next month, I'd say within the next four weeks, we'll probably have an uh, angler on console. It's just my, it's my gut feeling. Because Jaxi said the summertime is when they're going to have it released on console. And it's getting there, you know? Yeah. Guys, I have not had a bite on anything but like two pike. I'm just since this thing came up. I'm hoping they had competitions this game with like unlockable skins or different things you can get you know yeah that'd be cool Boat skins or here you know that would be sweet titles yeah rod holders would be cool like having multiple rods like having like uh you could have like two like uh float setups going with like a little bell on them and then so you could just be you know you get a bait cast going and you've got two float setups like just on like holders that would be sweet spots i think i'm throwing a i'm throwing a popper size five popper and typically works not at the moment where are you guys fishing at places Stuff and things, places, got places to be. I might try somewhere a little bit deeper, maybe. I'm on the lake. Yeah. I'm traveling. That might be the smallest fish of the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've caught one that small in real life. <laughs> oh, I definitely have. Oh, never mind. You know, I've, I, caught, I've caught one way mind. smaller. I've caught like a juvenile where it was probably born the same year. It's weird that bass will chase lures like four times their size too. And try to eat them. Hi, thank you for the gift of membership, buddy. Who you get? Oh, you getting Micah? Nice. Micah, congratulations on getting the gift of membership. I'm thinking the and, same thing, John. They gotta spread it out with the Australia release. We used to catch bass with just a hook and a peacock bass, like little yep. ones. Yeah, you're in our server then, Golden. That's us. Yeah, go do donuts around around Brobra. Distract them. Um, it just depends on the size of the fish, Johnny. I don't know off the top of my head, but what Johnny go into my mod chat on uh, Discord and look at the pin messages. There's charts in there and there's charts with like the hooks and sizes and stuff like that. There's notification. Nice. Nope, Jeremy, uh, we're still waiting for the fish to start biting again. Okay. Let's try the frogs. Let's try small frogs. See what we can get. Oh, 
true. Nice, John Golden. Says the, John says, uh, since the game was released in August, that might be when they released it out on console. That's in August again. Could be. It could be. Um... ZW has a track record of releasing stuff kind of on the same month. Yeah, it could be. But Jaxie did say when he was talking about releasing in the summer, like in air quotes, he said he really thinks of two months, June and July is what he said on stream. So, but that also could have been for the official map, the uh, Australian map. I get them mixed up now. True. So, but I still think it's going to be July. Yeah. Late July, I think, at least. Oops. Here we go. Gordon to the right. Okay, Rattlesnake. I'm going to do that real quick then. I'm trusting you, Rattlesnake. I hope so no. too, John. It'll be fun playing with all like, our console friends out, out here. Nope, Golden, you come on over. Uh, you cannot spook our fish. Is this the spot? Rattlesnake? Oh, this must be it. There's lots of lilies here. Yeah, it's tiny. Nice. Yeah, come on over, Golden. Come on over. Oh, there's a pike. We'll yank him in real quick. Nice. Back here. Oh no, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, I don't I haven't caught many goldens. Have not caught many goldens at all. Nice golden. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Anybody can come and just hop in and join unofficially if they want for sure. We just like to do just the uh regulars here for our competition since we put it all in discord and you got to be in certain things help with all that competition stuff keep it all legit eventually it'd be kind of cool to do like prizes and stuff you know i don't know what we would do it'd be kind of cool did you have an idea about that jeff i can't remember I know originally we we're talking about like stream keys or stream uh, like currency for other games and stuff like that. Oh yeah, like Xbox passes and stuff or something. Steam cash. I mean, so like if I was to fish, I wouldn't really want to win like Steam Steam bucks basically for myself. So like. I won a tournament and won uh, like a Steam gift card. I would probably raffle it to somebody in my Discord or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's like be pretty for cool. Charities, kind of, right? Yeah, that'd like, be pretty cool. Uh, Rattlesnake, if you type um, exclamation point and then the word Discord, but with no space, it'll pop up a link to join the Discord. Oh, Johnny, you got to fish for kokanee salmon in the mornings. Um. And then I'll, I'll show you, um, on my map here. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Ice, John says ice cream to the winner. Ice winner cream to the ice winner. Cream. That yeah. wouldn't be bad. So Johnny, this big long lake here is great for kokanee. Um, I would go to this Blackfoot basin and then fish down this way. Or you can go here to Roaring Devil Outpost and fish down this way. Kokanee, like, all in this area is good. And I use spoons and spinners for the kokanee. 
So that or all the uh, losers take shots of uh, hot sauce and the winner takes a shot of rum or something. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. That would be it wouldn't be that much of a punishment if somebody really likes hot sauce, though, you know? Me. Sure, sure. I'm not a big hot sauce guy, but. I like it. It would be that could be fun or like they have to like we could order right. uh crickets. You can eat crickets right. shot of pickle juice. I like pickle that's, juice. That's too easy. Yeah, I like pickle uh, juice. What about crickets? No, you can order. You can order crickets. crickets. Not even chocolate. Just regular crickets. You can order edible crickets. Are we, are we, oh, I thought we were talking about live crickets. <laughs> no, no, no. You can order edible crickets that are like seasoned and stuff. Like eat them like popcorn. I, I tried I the ranch ones and they're disgusting. I have uh, bad memories of crickets. <laughs> I think I my, tried it in school once. My uncle used to own a bait shop down here and he used to order crickets to sell to, to his people, you know, and um, yeah. they come in boxes. And one day, like, they ate through the box and we came in the store and there was like 10,000 crickets, like, all over the store. Oh, and, no. Uh, Took like a week to get them all. Nice. Right, small eyes are biting again, boys. We're back, baby. We're back. Small eyes are back. I think I only have a two pound average, which is not good. If that. Got the one gold, and I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Yeah, it's a good spot, Rattlesnake, for sure. Still got over an hour. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's another bass. It's another bass. I don't know what it is though. Large mouth. It's all right. Um, next week, I was thinking about doing a special angler stream on a special tackle Tuesday. Um, because I'm assuming all my Tackle Tuesday folks, all my homies here that actually fish will be going hard on Australia. Um, so if that's the case, I've got a special Tackle Tuesday stream plan that could just be me. I still tune in. Nice, Chip. If you want. I mean, you absolutely can, but... I mean, it's Australia release day. It's like one of the most anticipated maps of, um, wait, it's releasing on a Tuesday. Yeah. It's releasing on tackle Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, never, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was like, uh, <laughs> I, man, I don't know. Like the same week. That's what I was thinking. Nope. Releasing on tackle Tuesday. Um, this way your odds of winning are much higher. Exactly. <laughs> talking about in, um, it is not on uh, console yet. Um, it will be coming to console soon, though. It's a large mouth. It'll be coming to console um, this summer, uh, is what Jaxie said. So I'm really thinking it's going to be July. I think it's going to be sometime in July. It'll come to console. And I don't think it will be free, but you never know. They John might do some kind of deal. John says for the next one, you should have like chat or even like discord vote for the next fish for the competition Ooh, that could be good uh that could be good um you could almost do like a bracket style where like have a series of ones where it's like you have a list of them and put like two and two versus each other and then the winners of that do like semifinals and finals oh, okay that could be good that could be good i like or, that or you could just do like do a list of several you want to do and just have them choose it too. Maybe it's got a three pounder. Just saying. Three pounds. Nice. I know where you're at too. If I were to look at the map. <laughs> you know where I fish, dude. You know my do. spots. Yeah, because it's our spots. It's our spots. <laughs> How dare you? It's like watching a TV show that you and your spouse started without them. Right. Well, I remember that one time we were trying to get a gold largemouth 
and we were trying all the lakes and no luck and then I came over here and then I started catching some largies and then I ended up catching that gold smallmouth oh yeah it was like the shallowest water too dude what is up with all these freaking large mouths yeah now we get all the large mouth right uh, it is what it is I'm gonna start casting back to like Deer eight pounder earlier. Working football with GI, yeah, don't blame you with that. I, I don't know if I. Yeah, I guess you could pre order it. I don't know if they're gonna. Are they gonna do pre orders even for. Uh, I don't know if they do pre orders. Uh. Sounds good, Micah. Appreciate you being here, man. Um, I don't think they do pre orders, but you can't put it on your wish list. I don't know why they don't you get like free skins with them. It's worth it, you know. That'd be cool. Ooh, that's a big smiley, guys. Bite. Okay, let's go. Come on, please be big. I don't think it's that big. Decent. Not bad. Could be, bro, bro. If I don't get another one here soon. Okay, let's um go back to here. We got, we're gonna change the popper size. We go size. That did not go very far. Size six popper. Nah. Nice golden. Did you get anything? Yeah, console usually does, John, but I don't. EW usually doesn't do pre orders on their games. What is the benefit of pre ordering just so they know, like, they can expect certain things? Like, what's the point of pre ordering? Usually, well, usually, they, usually they charge more for pre orders, and they usually give you, like, extra stuff that people won't get when, uh,. When you order the game, pay, really never had to pay extra for pre-orders, but I know like if you were to pre-order like a console game at like a GameStop or something, you put like five dollars down for the pre-order, and then you could pay on it like a layaway and trade games towards it. So you have it paid off in full before it even comes out, and then you usually get bonus DLCs or some type of you know code for skin pack or sometimes Ooh. you'll get uh, early access to. Um, Future maps and stuff like that. Um, now, if you pre-order like a collector's edition or something like that, then yeah, you have to pay a lot more. And that was for PC games, console games. And fish, you know. nice. And I only know that because I managed a GameStop for like five years. Gotcha. I liked it because you can come in and trade in your games. And if you came in during like the trade, um, promotions you can basically get like a chunk of money for your games and pay off your game huh. with just a few games you know oh i saw that 1k command hmm i'm gonna delete that so we hit 1k a while ago we hit that we had that stream um but we once console releases we will have another uh console release party and if i can't get any keys to the angler um for console then i'll try to do like um like an xbox like gift card or playstation gift card or something like that do some kind yeah. of giveaway pre-orders it's the other way around it's usually cheaper john's right it's usually like five dollars cheaper A lot of times it's like a rug pull though, like for some games that like are new. A rug pull? Yeah, like you don't know what it's, well maybe not a rug pull, but like it's scam. Where it's like, oh you sink all this money into this game before you even get to like see people play it. Yeah. Like, well that's where a pre-order came into play too though. Like for us, if you put $5 on the game, the game's still $60 no matter what. Five bucks came off to $60. 
but your game was at our store. So even if the game bombed, you just came back and you took the pre-order off the game or you moved it to another game. If it was amazing and we're sold out, your game's still in stock sitting in the drawer waiting with you, you know, with your name on it. So it just guarantees you have a copy waiting for you if you're pre-ordering from like a store, you know, online. It's going to be probably more for like DLC skin packs, stuff like that. Madden. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, are they going to do physical copies of this game? No. They don't do any physical copies nowadays. What? what are you talking about? Yeah, they do. There's plenty of games that have physical they copies. They, Hardly any of them do. They still make physical copies, dude. <laughs> yeah, but how many people actually buy the physical copies, though? Um, Console players, there's mostly. There's a lot of people that are picky that don't want just codes. They want hard copies because they're worried that the code won't work in the future, you know. It is a good song, Caitlin. All these it's different. linked to an account, but if you lose the account, you have to buy the game all over again. Hunter Call the Wilds hard? Recently. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people, like people who don't really have like good internet connections need hard copies. Um, what else? Um, on console, like if they don't have a whole lot of like memory, like on their console, like people like hard copies because it takes up less memory on their um, right. machine. So some of them are like kind of like necessary. Are you still on our map, Cobra? Yep. He left, came back to reset his fish. Oh man, I wish. <laughs> oh, I see him now. What are these casts doing? <clears throat> there we go. That was a good cast. Yeah, I don't know if Way of the Hunter is on a hard copy either. Boy, I, uh... I was bummed that Way of the Hunter didn't turn out as uh, everybody hoped, huh? There's so much hype for that. There was. Um, yeah, it was, uh... I knew it was gonna be... I knew it was gonna be, like, a slower hunting game than Call of the Wild. I just didn't realize how much slower it was gonna be. Like, ooh. Like, you gotta wait for these deer to, like, grow up and age and stuff? Like, ugh, yikes. Like, you gotta be, like, a surrogate father to these, to these friggin' deer. You know what I mean? Yeah, send them off to college and, yeah. jeez, everything. You gotta raise them up, put diapers on them. I remember a game came out that was supposed to be, like, a huge shooter game. It was supposed to be completely different. It had cartoonish graphics called Brink. It was, like, I've the biggest bomb ever. And then right after that, Fortnite comes out, and it's like the biggest thing ever. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm not sure if it'll be on Xbox Game Pass, Beat Trooper. You think Way the Hunter will do good once they have Africa? Maybe. I think, um... Way the Hunter would appeal to me a lot more would appeal to me a lot more if um, you could do like multiplayer. Look at that trout multiplayer like um, map, like kind of like cultivating, I guess. Like, you know, you have to cultivate your herds. Like if you could do that, like with a friend or something like you and like, like a few friends are like all like rangers, I guess, or something, you know, and you're all working to like cultivate the herds and stuff. That could be kind of fun. But um, doing it by yourself, like slowly waiting for animals to mature, going to check on them and like, okay, he's still not a five star. We got to wait. Oh, geez. Ooh. John has over four terabytes of games between his PlayStation 5 and his Xbox Series Oh X. my goodness. Crazy. That was like me though, back in the day. No, Jack, that stinks, dude. I hope uh, you can get it fixed uh, before Australia comes out. 
Because when you manage game stops, you got a lot of free uh, games, especially when you won the competitions, which my store did a lot very often. Um, so I got free peeks at early access on a lot of the games before they came out. And He's got released. small mouse. I keep seeing giant like rainbow trout. Me too. I saw it. Yeah, I saw a few. What are you? I haven't seen oh anybody catch boy. anything in a while. I think that's a big smallie. Nice dude. That's a good silver. It's a decent three. silver. I think that's my first three pounder. All my other ones Ooh. are like twos. Two's still a good average. <laughs> I'm looking to see what's over here, Golden. Been craving gasoline. Oh, for the bug. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, oh yeah, the bug. Craving gasoline. Yeah, yeah, I was like, chip. I, I was like, drink it straight from the. Ugh, I was like, chip. We gotta talk, buddy. One of the bands I listen to called Avatar. They're from I think like Switzerland or somewhere. One of those. Like, oh no, that's European a James Cameron stuff. film. No, 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 no. This no, 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 no. Uh, when I went to his concert, he would drink his water out of a gasoline can. That could what? Fire one day. Yeah. Yeah, like he had a gasoline can full of water, so he had, whenever he needed to drink water, he'd drink out of a gasoline can. Interesting. Remember when Ozzy used to bite the heads off bats and then they were always fake and then one day somebody threw a live bat up to him and he... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he even know it was real at the time? No. Oh, no. Doan, how... Are smallies your bane? Doan's caught two smallies. No, not for sure. I don't know for shock. Well, I mean, it's, it's like a... I mean, when you go to a concert, they're very, like, theatrical. It's a metal band. And it's kind of just like... Next Tuesday, Jack, the 20th. Yeah. Of course, it wasn't like they never used gasoline in that can. It's like they just went and bought a brand new one and put water in it. Like. Or it was gasoline. No, it definitely was not gasoline. Mm. Yeah, I moved, Golden. I moved it back over here. Oh, there you go. There you go, Dylan. So you make fun and now he's catching up. Don't poke the Dylan. Don't poke the Dylan. Getting my butt kicked. You're doing good. You're a three pounder. Yeah, but you guys got freaking golds. Doesn't Berber have like two golds? I think just one. Or Jebba has two golds. Uh, Somebody has gold. I think it's just uh, one. Oh, I need a gold. I need that kicker. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see what we get. I could just uh, go for diamond only. Try to win this, win this bad boy. Watch you catch a diamond largemouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will. I don't even care at that point. If I get a diamond largemouth, like I, I may have lots of competition, but I'll win at life. <laughs> yeah. True. If you don't think I lost, I won. <laughs> there we go. Smallmouth right off the first cast. Of the new spot. That's good. The golden. Okay. There you go. Doan's no no one's coming back, everybody. Coming back. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Watch Tony's like, oh, hop in now. With like an hour left and then just crush it. Right. Gold, 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 diamond. <laughs> All these fish at. Or the only fish he catches is a diamond. Yeah. Well, one diamond, it's more than all of ours combined. There we go. That would be a very Tony thing to do. Ooh, yay, Caitlin. Getting bigger, getting bigger. I think Nate was just fishing here too. 
Okay, what? so there was one fish in this pond. Fish in here that just moved and I just moved over here and caught a almost three pounder. Nice move. I'm glad. These are uh, Tackle Tuesdays. Tackle Tuesdays can get a little bit wild, especially if we're uh, just fishing for random stuff. Uh, they get a little bit. <laughs> but whenever we're. Drinks we've had. Right. And if we're competing against each other, then we get focused in. Yeah. Which is. Which is fun too. I'm always out of focus. I don't know how, like, I can't put it in focus. No, B. Jones, we're not ready to get weird. Not your kind of weird. B. Jones, you can always come get weird over here. <laughs> yeah, go get weird in Nate's chat. <laughs> Be as weird as you want. Caitlin will decide how weird she'll allow. Ah, uh, probably, Ian. Probably, especially if the deer hunting's good. If the deer, I think that's going to be the key to Australia. If the deer hunting is good and if the fallow, let me put it this way, if the fallow drink zones are in open spaces, I think Australia is going to be the new Verhonga for sure. What color loofah are you rocking on your boat, Nate? Uh, purple. <laughs> <laughs> Move. You don't so, have to. Caitlin. So one. Got one fish in this little pond, and then nothing. Have I talked to Crow about Australia? Only the stuff that um, Jaxie's revealed because I don't want to get him in trouble, so I don't like press him on stuff. I also want to kind of learn everything my on my own. Purple likes to watch. Oh, never mind. Not purple. Definitely not purple. <laughs> you Definitely know what I mean? Definitely not purple. Uh, Pike. I don't want to like talk to Crow and like get any spoilers because I want to like do it all on my own. You know what I mean? But like I have to talk to him a little bit about like um like the stuff that Jaxie showed and stuff, and um he can only give me everything that Jaxie's put out there and what he's put in the videos and stuff. So haven't talked to him a whole lot because you just don't want to put him in a bad position. You know what I mean? Where he forgets, you know, what Jaxie has shown and hasn't shown, so it's just kind of better not to, all in all. Golden, you're all good, dude. No, look, three pound smallmouth silver. There you go, Golden. Good luck. I was be cheaper, yeah. Yeah, I was at the stream today. It was it was awesome. I like the quail. It's gonna be really hard to hunt the quail because they're so small, but still be good. Um, no, Jeremy, it's just the top like uh five like weighted fish, right? So like your heaviest fish. You mean bro bro John? So are you, just, are you just stating that, John? <laughs> oh, did he, Ian? I didn't even catch that. Yeah, Bantang were cool. I think if uh, if Fallow, if the deer, if all the deer are pretty cool, and I think if the Fallow, if their drink zones are out in the open, I think Australia is going to be the next, like, Big, big, uh, popular map. True. That's pretty much how it was for me. Silver Ridge was first, then Rahongo, then Reventuli, or Tailwater, and then Reventuli. Now I think I'll show you. will be the big one for me. Angular Colorado, which I like more. Um, I would say they're pretty close. Oh, yeah, Caitlin. But I would say angler. I like the angler more. Um, 
I kind of like the aspect of the angler that I like is not being able to see really fish usually before you catch them. And so it's like, it's a little bit more of um, like a lottery kind of effect, right? Um, that's what I like about the angler. Whereas Call of the Wild, you kind of know like, oh, if I go to the drink zones, I'm going to find something. Large mouth. So for me, for me, I like the, the more of the ramness. Now it might, once you play the angler, you'll see what I mean. I think, um, I think sometimes it's hard to see how fun the angler is on streams. Um, just because like they have so many cool mechanics in here. Like you get a fish on and go strike and it kind of like, this is like shake, but like, kind of like, I don't know. It's just very well done. Very entertaining and very engaging whenever you're actually playing. Like you can just sit here. I can sit here in silence and just cast and cast and cast and cast. And it's just a ton of fun. It really is. Um, and it's not like the other fishing games, like where you have to grind for 4,000 hours to be like relatively good at the game. Like it's a more call of the wild. Like it's an actual call of the wild paced fishing game. So you can get fish one after other another if you want to, or you can make it more difficult on yourself and only go for the, you know, diamond sized fish. And so you're going to be working a lot harder to do that. So you can kind of like increase the difficulty or lower it kind of based off of what you're feeling at the time, you know? Yeah, Johnny, I'm um very interested in the 22-250. Um, I'm not really sure why I would carry it over the 243. You know? Just, um, we'll see. We'll see, but, um, I just don't see why I would carry that. You know, like, what's, what's the advantage of a gun that's only two to four when I have a more powerful gun that's two to six and it's going to kill faster and might be able to make up with its, like, with its penetration might be able to make up for some missed shots like uh, now one thing i did see on there and somebody mentioned it in chat too the accuracy on the 22 250 was 100 it was it was a full 100 percent accuracy now if it's lighter than the 243 and it's 100 percent accuracy that might that might give it a little bit more life you know what i mean i'd be like i might i might take that out like if i'm on rev on Tuli or something i might take that out um <laughs> john i might take it out more for sure if i'm on like rev and i've got a lot of small things running around But like right now, like just looking at it from the outside, if it's super accurate, because the 243, as we all know, has more drop when you're at long range than most guns. So if the 22-250 doesn't have as much drop and it's more accurate, maybe, maybe we'll see. Yeah, and I don't really. Why did they buff the two two three, and then just put a different kind of, the same rifle in this? Catching some biggies now. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> uh, golden the. Leveled up. Let's go. The legendaries have already gone into hiding, so they are ready to reset. They are not active right now. Uh, but Lig Larry has three different spawns. I only know where one of them is. Nice, Evan. That's awesome. I was a little bit confused. Like, they buffed the 223, which is 2 to 4. And then put out a gun that's the exact same classes. 
that I I think I'm gonna have to play it right like I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play play with the new rifle and the 223 to see like what the deal is you know what I mean Cause it just um maybe they maybe they're good for different things or maybe it, it could be something as simple as it's just something different right it could just be something different or maybe like if the if the 22 250 has 100 percent accuracy and it's a super accurate powerful two to four weapon maybe there's some very special circumstances where you're like i cannot miss this shot like you know you have a level nine side stripe jackal on the map you're gonna you're gonna want to take the gun that's gonna get the job done at long distance you know what i mean now just for like running around i probably am i'm probably still gonna go with the 243 because like for example um on one of my diamond raccoons i shot it like in the rear like it was running away from me. I was in a first to a diamond competition with Bree and Crow. And I needed to take the shot on it to win the competition. So I took a risky shot, shot it in the bum. And it just happened to go just far enough to nick the liver. And so I was able to get vitals on it. And I, that's not going to happen with the, with the two, you know, a weapon that's two to four instead of two to six. So I don't know. Yeah, Ian, I was kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping, even though it doesn't make sense, like, even though it doesn't make sense for, for the 22-250, I really was kind of hoping it was another two to six rifle because I was just hoping it was going to be like a, a better, more powerful 243 because I think that's what they need, right? Like, I think they need, it could even be two to five, right? I think they need another rifle that's two to six that maybe is just a little bit better than 243 somehow. Um, maybe it's a little bit more accurate or something or fires a little bit quicker, but just make it like, like have it come with a reserve and just make it really, really expensive. Like they did with like the 300, you know? And so it's like, it's not really replacing the 243 because it's more of an in-game rifle. Like you have to save up a long time to get it. True. Sounds good, Tony. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, Johnny, it's um we'll see. We'll see. It could you know how it is sometimes. Sometimes, you know. With Call of the Wild, just one shot. That's not usually it's not usually indicative of what the weapon can do. You know what I mean? Like there could be more. Like it could have just been just a weird angle or something. You know. Um, I we just got some silvers, Saltino. And they may buff it later too. I mean, look at the twenty-two H when that came out. That right. Came that's true. Killer raccoon. <laughs> or that gun couldn't even kill a raccoon, you know. Here we go, another small amount of silver. Yeah, golden. That happens. That's yeah, I think. I think you're right. Had they, I literally had a two hours at work where I did nothing because our internet went out, which was kind of boring, but it's like had to still be there. Just in case it came back on. I think that's a pretty good point, Jebba. If it if the new uh, rifle is um, a little bit of a letdown, or like everybody's just like, eh, like don't really need it, they may do something with it later on. Yeah, for sure. They'll they'll, they'll definitely tweak it. 
I was super hyped for the 22H when that came out, and it was terrible. Yeah. I, um... And that was when they also changed it to where you had to hit vitals on a raccoon, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What? Uh, hey, Brad, sir. I still don't like hitting, having to hit vitals on raccoons. Yeah, me either. Am I... I don't know if I'm the majority or the minority on that, but... Uh, raccoon dogs, I think... Raccoon dogs, yes. Yeah, it's fine. It's more like a fox, you know. Yeah. Raccoon but raccoon's no different than a turkey, you know. Yeah. Or a rabbit. Uh, I feel like... I feel like that should have been state class one. It's going good, Raid B-Dog. It's going good, man. We're uh, having a... A chill but focused competition for the small mouth here. Do we have to be back at the main boat ramp before time ends or? Yes. Yep. We can fast travel, so it's really not that, not that bad. I know, Troy. I know. I know. That jackal. Man. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. But you know what? Maybe the 22250 will be a lot more accurate, right? Maybe that's going to be a lot more accurate than, um, the 243 at that long range. Um, who knows? Maybe that will help me, uh, not botch things. If that's the case, your boys on it. I... Nah, no diamond fish lately. Move. I've actually. I think the last time I played this was the last time. Oh, nice, cool. I think I, I think I got it, Raid. Oh, where are these smallmouths? Um, Doan's got a, a 3.9 silver. Oh. He's over where I was. I want to be able to use the 22 LR on raccoons. Honestly, the truncated ammo could work as a one to two, and they could make the 22H have better zeroing. So it's so massive, better than a one to 22 LR. Yeah. Yeah. Um. For me, it really wasn't it really wasn't the 22 LR that I wanted to use on the raccoons, even though the 20 the truncated cone probably would work pretty good on them. It was the it was the bird shot. Like I wanted I wanted to use bird shot, you know what I mean? I thought that would have been good. Yeah, you're probably right, John. I think you just read it wrong, Troy. I got what you meant. Um, I feel like my 22s are fine. Yeah, I feel like my 22s are okay. I only have the 22 Hornet on, like... I only my have scope. that thing on... My scope what? seems off on mine, my Hyperion scope. Really? And I use the Argus with, uh, on everything. I think my 300 seemed off when I was shooting Lions also. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna blame me botching the Jackal on that then. I mean, if you're using a hot period, it could be. Nice, Chip.
Uh, should be this summer. The summer brasser. So, uh, I think next month is my guess. But all we know is it's coming out this summer for, uh, console. More vehicles. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Have you tried bow hunting ducks yet, bro, bro? No. I barely got that white tail. Dude, it's so much fun. Same here, move. Just kind of like vibing to my music right now. Just like chilling. I think, um... I haven't really noticed anything being off for me, but that could just be me assuming it's me and not the game. I'm, wi I'm willing to blame anybody but myself for any of my mistakes, you know, but, uh, nice, John. I really haven't noticed it, but I just, I really think birdshot from like a 12 gauge birdshot. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like that should be size one and two, right? I feel like I should be able to get the raccoons with that. Huh. That is weird, Caitlin. Was it on the water, Caitlin? I find like... I mean, you still probably should have missed. How's it going? And it was on single player. Hmm. I should test it some more. It's on the shore. Oh. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it is a little bit wonky. I should test it some more. I'm just assuming that every time I miss, it's my own fault. Beach Trooper says hi, bro, bro. Hi, Beach Trooper. Oh, I got a bass going. That looks like a small mouth. Here we go. We got small mouths coming back. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a large, just a small, large mouth. Great. <laughs> Sounds like it's a large mouth, dude. <laughs> Love it. We'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. <laughs> you pretend that was a small mouth. Yeah, it's a uh, nine pound bronze small mouth. It's fine. Oh, got something going for this. At least they're biting over here. That's all I care about, right? Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. how much time we got left? Uh, thirty minutes. Just thirty more minutes. There we go. There's another smallmouth silver. Thirty minute timer. I don't know the weight for Diamond Troy. Um. But let me show you what I'm using. So I'm using the size six popper for um, the small mouth and the size five is gonna get you pretty much only golds and diamonds. I don't think you can get silver small mouth on the size five popper. I honestly should just go for golds and diamonds at this point. I'll take a look at it here, maybe after the competition, Caitlin. Yeah, I might need to look into it, Ian. I use I use the uh, Argus. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one, right? The Argus scope. Is that right? 
Oh, yep. And that one seems to work fine. A <laughs> redux. Uh, I would not blame you, redux. Arc is addicting. Would not blame you. Ark is um amazing. Yeah, it's a dinosaur open survival world game. survival game. What? And Why it's very addicting. Game? Very okay. addicting. All right, I'm only getting largies here. You know what I'm gonna do? I gotta check something. Guys, if I lose this, I'm going to be super embarrassed. I'm going to tell you why. I may have gotten a little bit of a competitive advantage for this, um, this competition. What? Yeah, I tweeted, uh, Wedge. You know Wedge in the Angler Discord? Yeah. Yeah, I tweeted him and asked for some advice on Smallmouth. I hate Dude, you. That's me, you know. <laughs> I can't I can't believe you've done this. I kind of took I kind of picked up on that hint when he said uh, courtesy of a wedge earlier. Well, I thought he like picked it up on the official discord just from passing like he just saw it. <laughs> I didn't nope. think he messaged. What yeah, a... He said he said shout out wedge so... <laughs> disqualified. It's a competitive advantage. OK. <laughs> Wedge, if you're here, you're the best, buddy. Thank you. It's not an advantage if we already know the secrets. I mean, I you guys are, you. yeah, you guys are pretty much in the spots. Doan knew the spots right off the bat. I just go where I catch small mouth and large mouth and bigger sizes. <laughs> He's cheating. <No. laughs> Let's try here. Wedge, if you're watching this, your next answer to Broba has to be throw it in the water and find out. <laughs> throw it in the water and find out. <laughs> yeah, Golden. Uh, uh, that's it. Does that sometimes? I mean, like, you pr I probably. You can just go into the angler official discord and then just type in like whatever fish you want and then like look through all the posts that mention it and you'll find like hotspots and stuff there that way. Um, but I wanted to see if there was something other than the lumber mill bridge. Give me a couple, a couple of tidbits. We gotta, we gotta watch bro right now, Nate. Yeah, <laughs> no. You know what we have to do? <laughs> Alright, I figured it out. We don't just we don't determine the species until we're literally on the dock right before we launch. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to. Ooh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh I we got I got my thumbnails with different fish on it, so No, not allowed. Yeah. So you gotta guess it now. Nah, yeah, I gotta I gotta make those thumbnails, you know. We we'll have one pre made for every fish. Yeah. I mean, it better would get, only make sense. <laughs> uh, it's your top five best smallmouth bass redux, and whoever has the mo like the heaviest weight at the end wins. Is that a largey? My boat. Yeah. <sighs> hey, B boy, how you doing? I mean, it only makes sense. I haven't won any of my own competitions ever. Desperate. I feel like that's a lie. <laughs> what? I've never won a tackle Tuesday. You ever no competition. Are like flying in place over here with like giant kites just sitting there. I have not noticed that. 
look like eagles or something. Eagles. Is this Molly? Can't tell. Nope. <sighs> What's up, Miles? Mr. Miles? Miles the Hunter. Whoa. Aggressive fish. Gotta be a bike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. A small mouth. Oh, it looks like it. I can't tell though. Oh, it is. Going back up here. Well, you got a pretty small mouth. <laughs> I was, we were thinking the same thing, John. These birds are like distracting. Some kids are flying kites over by me. Oh, this has to work, right? Has to be a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Woo -hoo. is it Ark, Caitlin? It's hey, Zygerts. I'm trying to think of what that would be. I think it's Ark. Catching the small leaves now. Back in the lumber mill. Right before you need it. No, Sims. The Sims must be updating. Yeah. Gotta pull them out from under these docks. I don't know why I moved. I should have been here the whole time. <sighs> it is what it is. Gotta keep away from these logs, cause they will break off on these logs. Let's go. Oh, he's been up a fight. Another three pounder. Take it. Ooh, wow. Well. Archie. You don't know, uh, you're not excited for band camp. Not excited for band camp, Beach Trooper, why not? I've heard a lot of sto good stories that start with this one time at band camp. This one time? Band camp? Kaylin loved band camp. Okay, I can see why you probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> they had someone there called the Turd Burglar. What? Nothing. I heard she toots her own horn. Oh, she toots, all right. Not Caitlyn, but you know, proverbial what she. Is, uh, what is the Caitlyn up to? Is she playing art? No, nah, I have no clue. Sims and Sims must have had an update. She played the trumpet. I played the trumpet. You guys want to hear my, you guys want to hear how I, uh, uh, quit band? It's a classic Brover story. You had to use your drumstick to unclog a toilet? Nope. Yeah. Worse. <laughs> so I wanted to play the saxophone, right? And my buddy, John Hayes was also playing saxophone and he was super good. 
and I was like, well, that's lame. I don't want to be outdone by John Hayes. John was a cool dude. I like John a lot. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch to something else. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try drums. And so I tried drums and then my buddy, Michael Kruger, way better at drums. And Michael still drums to this day and he's very good. And I was like, ooh, ooh, maybe drums is not for me, you know? And uh, I'm just trying to make podium at this point, if you know what I mean. And uh, I'm like, okay, maybe not drums. So I was like, you know what? There's a lot of people that play trumpet, but I feel like I could beat all of them. And so I switched to trumpet and uh, I was awful at trumpet. And my friend Logan Smith, super good, super good at trumpet. His dad played trumpet, so like really good. So I was like, you know what? Nobody's playing the French horn, so I will be the best at French horn. So I switched to the French horn, right? And uh, the only other person that uh, played the French horn was in the sixth grade band. And so uh, we had to share instruments. We had our own mouthpieces, but we shared instruments, right? And uh, so I'm playing French horn and then like, I'm like terrible at it, but you know, I don't really know that because I've got nobody else to compare anything to. I found out that I don't have, like, I can't really, I don't have a good sense of like melody and I can't really like keep a tune or anything. So that's like a big issue, like in music, I guess. Um, <laughs> and so I was playing the French horn and then like, I was probably doing it for a few weeks and then like, I like got in there, got the French horn out, got my own mouthpiece out, right? I started blowing and I couldn't get like any air through the French oh, horn. Oh, you like, started blowing. <laughs> I, oh, too. And I'm like, I couldn't get any air through this freaking air, this freaking French horn, bro. Like, nothing was working. It was like clogged up. And like, I like emptied the spit valve, right? So I'm emptying the spit valve. It's not my spit. It's kind of like, it's not much coming out, but there's like, ooze coming out and I'm like okay like that's gross like let's get like hawk Oogie in the freaking French horn nasty and uh <laughs> I'm like come on I'm like banging on the French horn can't get it out I'm blowing as hard as I can and then um I'm like I can like hear stuff in there and I reach my hand in the French horn and the dude had puked macaroni and cheese in the french horn cheese oh that like seeped down in there and i'm like bleh, bleh. like it was so gross he like there was like gnarly like chunks of like thrown up like cafeteria mac and cheese it was gross <laughs> anyway so i quit music after that Never touch an instrument since. Is that where the uh, car horn sound was originated from? I'm, music playing? Yeah. Uh, that's probably a little bit too melodic for me. <laughs> you guys like that one? I, I've been pretty traumatized in my life, so... Yeah, you know, by very minor things. Poop, puke, I had to run in with a little bit of everything. Uh, B Jones, are you still here? I, can I tell the story about how you and I met for the first time? <laughs> That's a poop story for the ages. <laughs> I actually have a poop story. Oh, oh, we have a contender entering the ring. Fire that's away, Jebba. bad one. All so, right. Middle school years. Mm -hmm. I had twin friends that were like my best friends. Fish did everything together. One day I came home from school and my stepmom was fuming and basically told me I was grounded and grounded me for like a month. And apparently one of the twin brothers came into my house, knocked on the door, dancing like a little squirrel. Having to use the restroom, she, he, she thought he had to use, you know, pee, you know, and, uh, no, 
He had diarrhea. He basically. Oh, no. All I know is when I went to clean the bathroom, there was poop on the walls, poop on the toilet seat, poop on the floor, poop everywhere. Because I guess he didn't get to the toilet seat in time. And he didn't have the courtesy to even clean it up. He just left it there. How old was he? <laughs> like 13. He was 13 and he didn't clean it up? Yep. What the poo? Yeah, my stepmother was super angry. And of course I got in trouble for it. Oh, man. Not really, Ronald Reagan. Kind of struggling. If you plop it, you mop it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. That's... That's unhinged. That is unhinged. Um, oh, B. Jones is in here, but I'll tell this story. So B. Jones and I first met like in the second grade, second or third grade, one of the two. And um, in our classroom, so there's four classrooms and all the classrooms are connected by two like retractable, like foldable walls. And he's in a different class than I am. I'm sitting in my class, Miss Phillips class, and I think I have to fart, right? And uh, so I'm like, bro, I cannot focus on these fractions if I've got to let one rip, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm just gonna let it slip out and there might be a squeak, there might be nothing, who knows? Probably sound like that French horn. It was not silent, but it uh, was not like loud because it was pure diarrhea. Oh, no. <laughs> pure diarrhea, man. And so I've pooped, I've pooped my pants and I'm dead. Like, like when I, I'm dead center in the middle of class and I got all the kids around me, right? In the whole classroom. Damn, Jova. And you and I do nothing. I do what? nothing. You just sit in that champ. I sit in my poop pants. And I sit there and I just pretend nothing's happening. And I'm just waiting. You know what I wait for? I wait for somebody to smell it. And then I can pull the whoever smelt it, dealt it. Dealt it, right. That's not how that works. Oh, it's how it worked that day. It's how it worked that day. It is so, for me. Which I'll tell uh -oh. the story after yours. Continue. It, I ripped them. I mean, I was like, oh, I don't remember which kid it was, but just I was like, oh, you like, like, oh, just like, did somebody smell that? And I'm like, oh, what did you fart or something? Whoever smelled it dealt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, the smell did not go away because I've got diarrhea in my pants and it just lingered there. And slowly but surely, everybody figured out that it was definitely me. And they're, they understand it's not a fart. And I'm like just staring at the board. Like, I don't think I was thinking about fractions, but I was pretending to think about fractions. And uh, eventually, slowly, surely, I remember just everybody slowly moving away from me, right? Until there was like this moat of emptiness around me. And I'm just sitting there like, I don't even smell it. Just like deny, deny, deny. I'm denying it to the end. Like, I don't smell it. I don't know what you guys smell, but I don't smell it. And like, it came to a point where I'm in the middle of the classroom and like everybody's desks are pushed up against the walls because it smells so bad and they want to be so far away from me. And the teacher finally walks over and like whispers in my ear like, hey, oh, nice. Like, wishes me like, bro, bro do you need to go to the nurse's office? And I'm like, no, why would I need to go to the nurses? I don't even know why I would even need to go to the nurse's office. And she was like, uh, okay. And there was, it was pretty clear close to the end of the day. And I guess she just really didn't know like what to do because like another, then another, like she just like was like, okay. And, like it kept trying to teach. Right. And then another teacher like opened the uh, foldable like wall between the classrooms and was like, do you smell? Oh, 
like she realized very quickly where the smell was coming from when she opened that foldable wall to convene with my teacher and apparently the smell of my poop pants had permeated through all of the second or third grade i don't remember all the four classrooms and i won't go to the nurse i won't move and it's so close to the end of the day they just called it they just said you know what everybody else is gonna go out for extra recess and so the whole rest of the grade got to go out for recess except for me and i'm just like i'm not going like i don't need to go to the nurse what are you talking about and so i sat there until the buses were called and they just let me go home on the bus in my poop pants and then i went home and i um don't remember i went home on the bus i don't remember who let me in the house i don't know if i walked in the house or what this was back in the 90s no this was early 2000s and uh so I got in there and uh, just changed real quick and uh, got some baby wipes and wiped myself down and went on playing. And uh, yeah, I don't think there were any other repercussions from that. So you're like the most embarrassed kid and the coolest kid at the same time. Um, I just denied, denied, recess. denied. Yeah, I gave everybody double recess, but I did poop my pants. And uh, yeah, I, I think I kind of evened out on that one, you know, like i don't remember like that coming back to haunt me at all Jeez. i remember when i managed gamestop had to open the store and i was only one and i got there early but we had went out drinking the night before pretty heavily yeah and that didn't really go too well with the stomach and as soon as i got mm. in i was already like five minutes late so like i had to like open up like as soon as possible like rush everything and basically had some pretty nasty farts myself and then as soon as i opened the door these two beautiful women walked in the door and i was like oh man and then and there's like no way to really like not get out of it and they walked in they're like oh my god what is that terrible bad smell and i was like what smell guys and i like walked over to them like oh my gosh what is that i was like oh dude that dude that was just in here that went in the mall he must have like left one in here and just left out you know ran off with it or went, ran off without it or something and then i like pawned it off on an invisible dude <laughs> and, it, and it worked even though i opened the store they were like i guess really ditzy and didn't realize and put two to two together that it was me but oh I, would. I had a storefront mall where like we had an opening inside the mall also so dude yeah just i would have just owned it just been like that's 100 percent usda like, yeah, choice beef right. You know what that is? That's it's pure gas, bro. Part. Yeah. They bought <laughs> They bottle that they bottle that in some countries. They'd use that. They they can run cars off of that. We call it G fuel nowadays. Well, I didn't eat my poop, Jan. Ugh. I didn't give myself I didn't give myself uh What is that? No, I was going to say uh, the, the the bacteria in there. So you didn't have like liquids floating around the shoes in the classroom while you're just chilling in there? Uh, I might have. I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, there was this old guy too at the mall that um, security guy, security guard showed me uh, the camera footage. The guy was walking down the hall and he starts kicking his leg and three little nuggets come rolling out of his pant leg and he just keeps walking it off like another it never happened it, it never did happen what are you talking about it was insane um but yeah anyway like 10 years later me and b jones became best friends <laughs> he brought that up too like the first time we hung out like in high school He's like, weren't you the kid that like pooped their pants in like the second grade and we all got extra recess? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that was me, dude. And he's like, dude, that was dope. We were all so excited for getting extra recess. I was like, I know, man. That's what we call me and B. Jones. We have this thing called trickle down benefits. It's like trickle down economics. And, uh, you know, like our friendship has like different levels of like been, you know, and well, hold on pause.
like uh trickle down benefits would be like um when he started dating his now wife she was really good at baking and she thought me making fun of her was like me not approving of her so she tried really hard to um like impress me with her baking and stuff and like get on my good side and i'm like i didn't realize this because i was an idiot and i i'm like i just assumed she understood like i'm just glad that he's you know not gonna be like die alone you know what i mean like i'm just oh nice Jebba. Like, I'm just glad this like this dude's not gonna die alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she was like Steph's amazing like in all in all ways and so one, I was like Yes, got a three-pounder right at the end there nice. And so later Braden and so I'm like so I'm like making fun of her, giving her a hard time because she doesn't understand that's how I show affection, right? And uh, so she bakes like these incredible things for me. I'm like, oh, I made these for you guys. And like brings them over. Like, how do you like them, bro, bro? I'm like, oh, this is great. Thanks, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, make fun of her for something else, you know? And I didn't realize this till like they're like six months in and she finally tells like B. Jones, like, hey, like, I just feel like Brober doesn't like me, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like, he thinks you're great. He's like, but she's like, he makes fun of me all the time. And he's like, yeah, because he likes you. He thinks you're uh, right. That's the truth though. The guys, the people that pick on you, it really means they love you. All right. Like yeah, if I was doing it behind her back, I was doing it behind her back. It's a different story. Yeah. No, if they walk up and like punch you in the arm or something and walk away, it's because they actually like you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then uh, she figured that out, and then she's not really baked me anything since, which is, ugh, I don't know. I'll have to do something else. I think this is a pike. Yeah, that's a pike. Yeah, the call watcher is pretty cool, isn't Golden? This spot's actually really good. <laughs> sure. Here. Yeah, Bison. We never did that, but we had like a we called the we called it the shooting range at the urinals, and we would have competitions to see like how far back we could like get from the urinals and still make the pee stream into the urinals. We did that. We didn't pee on each other. We just we did like a like long range like sniper shooting with like the streams. Sword fighting. No, nope, no. Nope. It was long range, just seeing how how far you get the jet stream in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be too proud to do that still. <laughs> All right, I think it's gonna be my last fish. You ever do those ones where it's like the long stream and you walk it in? Yeah. You don't hit the floor. Yep. 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 Um, you, you know what always like weirded me out as a kid? Going to like the uh, like bathtub urinals at like sporting events. Like. Ah! <laughs> Golden Games. Um, that always weirded me out as a kid because, like, I'm at like crotch height, you know, like my head is like at crotch height, so you gotta like pony up to these bathtub uh urinals. And it was, mm, I don't know about that, zero out of ten, did not like that. Fancy fun, you guys over here. Boy, I made it. I made it. Is everybody here? All four? Yeah. Nice. I definitely got my butt kicked. Hey, Simon. Got my butt handed to me, guys. Ain't no way I'm winning this one. My last cast. Last cast.
At 9.59. If you get a fish on at 10. You can pull it in. Ah, got it! Fish on! Fish on! What is this? A large mouth. Yeah, it looks like a largey. Yep, large mouth. Dang. All right. I need to borrow some of my three pounders. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do our math here. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Latest harvest. Oh, I think some of mine aren't in here. Ooh. Yeah, I, some of my big I need ones. A piece of paper. I just need to write these freaking down. Yeah, write mine down as I fish. I screenshot them. <clears throat> I screenshot them and I was like, I'll take care of it later. I need a pen. Where is a pen? I have a pen somewhere. Okay. Now I need a piece of paper. Now where would that be? Yeah, my gold's not in the latest harvest. Oof. Okay. Might be. Well, I can go to my screenshots. Let's see. Oh, nine. Nope. 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 Point two four. Oh, what did I just do? All right, posted my fish and my biggest fish and my total weight. Now I'll post the screenshots. To nine. What is going on? Why is this not working? Ten. Why is it whenever I open up? Go to Steam, go to the Angler uh, in your library. I got it. It just wouldn't let me. It was being weird. Oh, I got press close, that's why. Okay. Awesome. Got that. Calculator going. You might want to double check Robo's math since he uses uh, devs to cheat and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I was just thinking about that. Okay. My time to do my mass here. Da -da 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 -da. 
They were posts on the screenshots too. Uh, yeah. Okay. I gotta go and. All right, guys, we'll have a uh, answer for you here momentarily. Uh, how do I you can just you can just do the total for now and then put it the screenshots in. After yeah. two. Yeah, that's what that. uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I got my butt kicked. Don't worry. You'll be able to come back one day. Oh. either bye caitlin you only got one over three wow dylan oh dude the ew stream was awesome liam i thought it was really exciting um I'm just uh, interested in the gun. Okay. All right. So we have our official numbers here. We will start from the bottom. <laughs> oh, no, Dylan. Okay. So in last place, not making podium is uh, the biggest surprise of the night. I never thought this would ever happen. Our poor Doan here, last place at 13.1 pounds. Whoa. Um, I know. I know. I, I was last. Completely out of the blue, Doan at 13 pounds. Um, I'm just totally blown away. I expected Doan to absolutely dominate, as he <laughs> always does. Um, what you'll probably, well, we'll we'll feel bad and then he'll like destroy us the next time and then we're not going to feel bad Dude, anymore. he's going to have like five times <laughs> right and then coming in at third place in bronze we got nate at 14.9 pounds let's go oh, yeah. nate you made podium you made podium nate and then we'll do we'll do it this way for gold for the winner of the tournament the small mouth bass tournament is Jebba at 16.88 pounds gold trophy winner and then for me I got silver second place at 16.14 pounds I'm so I'm just glad Brobra didn't, didn't win <laughs> <laughs> Wedge I'm sorry I tried man if you're watching I tried I uh, and, uh who, got, you know where. who got the biggest fish uh, I believe you did. I believe your gold was the biggest. 4.14. Okay. Yep. Yep. I think my gold was nice. just a little bit under. Nice. So. 
Tony would be proud. Nice, John. So that's I exciting. Like to, I would like to thank my fans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My fans got me here. <laughs> Mom, thanks. <laughs> Too funny. Waiting. Too funny. All right. Well, I think that is going to be it for me. Uh, Nate, are you going to keep streaming? No, I think I'm going to hop off here too. Caitlin's right. streaming. Sweet. Sounds good. Everybody appreciate it. Thanks for dropping by for Tackle Tuesday. Yeah, thanks I will, for hanging out. We'll uh, be back next week. Um, we'll probably do a special Tackle Tuesday next week since most everybody's going to be hanging out in Australia. Uh, I think I have a pretty cool idea for that for next week. So stay tuned on that. But I will see you all tomorrow for Call of the Wild.